everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about cables. So before we talk about cables, Spinal Cords has graciously sent me these babies right here for free for a review. And this is not a paid review and it's entirely based on personal opinion. And also, the geeky side of me was curious about cables in general. So I did a little research and I found so many useful information. And so I decided to compile it for my viewers and I hope you learned something or two. So whether you like it or not, Cable leads play a part in shaping the tone of your guitar playing. So, what makes a great cable? There are three main components that determine the quality of a cable. They are resistance, capacitance, and shielding. First component is resistance. The resistance is the obstruction of a signal flow. First off, let's explore the effects of the diameter and the length of the wire to the signal. A thick wire allows more signal to pass through, whereas a thinner wire allows less signal. Also, the longer the length of a wire, the greater the resistance because there are more collisions of flowing electrons in the metal. Basically, they lose more energy. Next, there are different rates of resistivity of metals. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, good electrical conductors have high conductivities and low resistivity. A lower resistivity means you will need less of a metal to reduce the resistance to an acceptable target. Although silver has low resistivity, it is an expensive material, so most cable maker uses copper. So next, we are going to talk about capacitance, which affects your tone more than you know. According to Sweetwater, with cables that are paired, the two conductors with insulation in between form a capacitor which holds an electrical charge. The capacitance is really small. However, it could compound over the length of the cable, which get multiplied by a great amount. Capacitance affects the signal level and is frequency dependent. The higher the frequency, the greater the signal loss. And because of this, the longer a cable is, the greater the capacitance and the greater the higher frequency of signal loss. Thus, a muddier sounding guitar. Lower cable capacitance allows more of the natural brightness, presence and the punch of the instrument to reach the amp easier, which in turn allows the treble control to run lower and reducing your hiss and unwanted noise. The third component is shielding. Shielded cables are cables that contain an extra layer of insulating conductors. The shield could be made from strands of copper braided together more copper. So they are the best in the settings where there are a lot of interference such as the stage. And yes, that was me. So depending on the settings, studio or stage, it might pick up different signals from different devices, such as when I play with my phone whilst having a guitar on, it usually generates noise. Proper shielding will ensure this doesn't happen. Although I don't think it's a big issue nowadays because technology has advanced like so well. Well, I might be wrong. I mean, I've heard some stories of Wi-Fi interfering with like playing, but I've never experienced it, so it's just telltales. I know I don't play in pubs. I don't like playing in pubs. It's just it's sweaty and everyone's drinking and they're really drunk, you know. So it's not really my thing. <laughs> in a nutshell, a great cable is one that keeps the resistance and capacitance as low as possible and have a proper shielding on the outside so that it doesn't compromise the characteristics of your tone. So the cable that ticks all those boxes are the cables right here, the spinal cords. Dominic, the founder of the company, sent me these, um, two of these cables. So this is the candy red, which is my color. Uh, they are the original uh, spinal cords and this is the new one, latest edition. It's called Artist Siri. I've been using this close to a week from this filming and it does what it does it does what it says and it does it very well that's what you want from a cable that's what guitars want first of all spinal cord uses canary canary canar cable so it's a company based in japan and it's very famous for making audiovisual and um, instruments cable products it is found by kimio kawamoto in 1970s, that's like 50 years of making cables. So since then, they made a mark all around the world. They've been around this audio and visual market for a really long time. They're literally the old dogs that people look up to. The cable in spinal cords is made with oxygen-free copper 18AWG. AWG stands for American Wire Gauge. 
and it refers to the size of the cable, and it is suitable for connecting guitar, bass, keyboards to amps, mixers, effects pedals, and everything. Basically, everything is good for it. So I was asking Dominic about resistance on the cable and why is it important. So he was saying the most cheaper cables, uh, not this, but the cheaper cables in general, <laughs> they have greater resistance because they want to save costs. That's, that's the main thing. They get lower quality copper with loads of like impurities. Even if you're using a good guitar, a good amp, or a good pedal, it will still have a greater degree of noise. Dominic ran a test with the multimeter to find out the resistance of a cheaper cable and a spinal cord cable. Turns out, the cheaper cable had 1.3 ohm of resistance, whereas spinal cord cable has only 0.2 ohm of resistance. So the moral of the story is, the lesser the resistance, the purer the signal. And this cable checks the resistance box. The Canary cable kept the capacitance low by using quality material with good insulation during cable construction. This improves the frequency response of flat to 50 kHz, which gives the tone a bright, ringing, characteristic sound even when you use a high impedance guitar pickups with long cable runs. This checks the low capacitance box. The cannery offers double shielding, copper braided net, and black carbon insulator. The proprietary double carbon braided copper shield eliminates microphonic handling noise, especially on stage where amps are often set at maximum levels. It checks the shielding box. Next thing we look at is the plug. The spinal cord uses Neutric, which is a very familiar name in the gear industry. The latest product release on spinal cords is the Artist Siri, which is this black baby right here. Artist Siri is a silent plug that automatically mute an instrument cable to avoid pops and squeals when plugged out or changing instruments, like this. The PX Silent Plug features a rugged metal shell enhanced with a rubber cushion overlay for improved shock protection. So it is very, very durable. I think that this cable actually wins in terms of plug-wise. So in the past, I had cables that has the same idea, but they have a button, like a kill switch thing. <laughs> Sometimes, if you forget to click it, you kind of risk this awkwardness of playing and nothing comes out. So that is very awkward. So lastly, we have to talk about this funky red sleeve. It's just the funkiest color ever. Like I chose red because red is my color, don't you think so? So this sleeve is made by a company called TechFlex with polyethylene terephthalate or just known as PET. The range of colors that spinal cords offer are tangerine, cobalt blue, bumblebee, candy red, cherry blossom, frost white, graphite, raven black, and seafoam green. The spinal cords cable is a premium product and it wouldn't undermine your tone or your wallet. And they handmade every single order and you can customize to your liking. You can customize the color the angle of the plug, and also length of the cable to your liking. I think that they should make a sparkly one for me with my name on it. Yes. <laughs> I think there isn't really a, much of a downside when it comes to this cable. It's really durable and I've only owned it for a week so I'm not sure how long does it last. I mean, judging by the quality of this, I know that it will last a really long time. I think uh, in terms of quality and materials, I can't really judge it because it's like literally the premium, the best materials that you can get out there at the moment. But I think I would really like an option to customize the plug. Um, so this is black and gold, which my that's my favorite color. And I would prefer it if it's a black and gold for this red cable that they sent me. And it's just my personal preference. It's, it's nothing wrong really. It's just the looks. But in terms of quality, it's great. And also rubbery sleeve on top of the plug, which I'm not too sure about because in my experience, like rubbery and long lastingness doesn't go well together because it tends to rub off quickly, but I don't know. So in his website, I saw that he's got products that has just a metal, red metal casing. So I don't know why he sent me a red, like with the rubbery one. 
But it's okay, it's just my opinion, really. That's literally the two things that I don't like about this cable. And as far as I'm concerned, the two things that I don't like is just the outer appearance. In terms of quality, price point, durability, it's just great. I have no complaints and I think it's a great cable. I think everyone should get it. Um, and also, did I mention that? The sleeves are really ASMR-y. Look. <laughs> I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you find it helpful. Don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to check out Spinal Cord's website for more information about the cable. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye! I don't even remember the last time I played in a pub. I mean, I remember it. The last time I played in a pub was with Nobody Walks in LA, one of my good friends. He's like a super rock star. He's back in America. And probably that was my last time playing in pub. I mean, pandemic on the side. I I don't really like playing in pubs, that's why. Just everyone's drunk, it's like they just want to hear loud noise and I like to protect my ears, so I'm that's why I don't really like playing in pubs maybe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs>